What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw for Sports. All right, so everybody has an opinion. Everybody. I have an opinion. You have an opinion. Uh, your best friends have an opinion about various things. But one of the most fun things to find out is everybody's favorite players or more importantly, I guess, everyone's top players, their top 10, or even more concise, their top five. Generally speaking, we all have certain players, well, I'm not going to say all, um, a lot of times certain names come up more frequently than others when it comes to top five. But uh, the former Ron Artest, uh, the former Metal World Piece, I still call him Metal World Piece. I think he goes by uh, something like Meta Sandifor for Peace or something like that now. But anyway, I'm just going to call him Metal World Peace. Uh, former NBA player recently gave his all-time top five players list. I'm going to put this uh, article in the pinned comment in the comment section below. And he said in a recent interview on a podcast, quote, my five are Bill Russell because you can't beat him. He beat Will Chamberlain. I got Will Chamberlain number two. I just don't know who could do what he could do. I got Will Chamberlain number two, and they say he's an older era, but it's the same era that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was, and they played against each other, you know what I'm saying? So, Will Chamberlain, no one can stop Will. And then I got, and this is my opinion, then I got MJ. Sometimes I put Shaq number one. Shaq is like, Shaq don't get enough credit for being one. He never gets talked about as being one of the best players ever. Like, you know, I think he can make a case that nobody could stop me, you know what I'm saying? But he's not in my top five. Uh, I got Kobe. I'm actually, there's someone that I'm missing that's not in my top five because Kobe and LeBron is like always like tied at five. But really, if, if he's saying Shaq is not in his top five, then really what he means is that um, LeBron and Kobe are tied for four. And those are his top five. That, that's what he actually means. Uh, and then the next person would be six. So that's his top five. His top five is Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain, Michael Jordan, and tied at four, Kobe and LeBron. You know, I don't have a problem with that. Um, I think he's, I mean, just in my opinion, I think he could possibly be shortchanging Kareem. But, uh, look, that's his opinion. It's not a bad one. And I like the fact that he gives a lot of homage to the players of the past. A lot of people who are younger will think he's capping by showing respect to players of the past. Uh, you know, but I don't have a problem with that list. I don't. Uh, but tell me what you guys think. What you think about Ron Tess's list? You think it's stupid? Do <laughs> you think he's missing certain players? Do you think somebody should be higher, lower? Tell me what you guys think.